Natalie Thompson. I'm a non-dieting accredited practicing dietitian. I enjoy helping mums who struggle with nutrition and body image and worry about the impact they have on their children, discover the joy in eating, make peace with their food in their body whilst being the role model they imagine for their children, focusing on compassionately nourishing the mind, body and spirit of themselves and their children. We've been focusing on intuitive eating in the last few videos and I want to continue but I want to talk about choosing foods you actually feel like. If you're just joining us I recommend jumping over into my group the Nutrition Empowered Aussie Mums Facebook group and searching for uh, video one which was um, eating when hungry most of the time and the second um, video was um, stopping when comfortably full. So watch those two videos first because this one kind of flows on from that. So today, can you actually um, like choose foods you actually feel like when it comes to snack or meal time um, rather than eating um, foods that you think you should be eating? Because my concern with that, the thinking side of things, is that is dieting mentality and dieting. So that's not going to be great on your health in the long term and it's not going to be great for your relationship um, with food and body. So we want to eat intuitively and um, choosing foods you actually feel like is a component of that. Now in order to do this, you need to give yourself full permission to eat a variety of food, eating all foods. No foods is off, no foods are off the, um, the list, okay? Um, unless, of course, you have allergies and intolerances. Now, people often feel fear around giving themselves permission to eat all foods. This fear is driven from a place of feeling like they will just want to eat less nutrient-rich foods or sometimes foods like all the time. And there's also this fear that they'll get fat too. Now the truth is you will not want to eat these less nutrient rich foods all the time. In the initial stages that might be the case for you but it's fairly short lived. I mean it varies on the person depending on your history of dieting, your history um, with your food and your body. So the reason is, it's, the reason why this is short lived is because the magic or the power the food has over you just kind of diminishes. I'll give you an example to demonstrate what I mean. Have you been on a cruise before um, or eaten at a buffet where there's amazing food on offer at every single opportunity, you know, meal or snack time? Can you imagine yourself in that situation for a week? Do you think that you would be overeating all these sometimes foods by the end of that week? I highly doubt it. From my experiences working with clients and with myself, I know that by yeah, not even the week, um, I am looking forward to something so simple like eggs on toast or meat and three veg. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just... Uh, yeah, overwhelming. So the research also reflects this. Your, that power, that magic actually declines. So, yeah, my challenge for you today is tune into your body, your stomach, and actually work out what it actually feels like. Now, this can be challenging, particularly if you've been dieting, um, and it can take time to change to this habit. So if you need assistance, 
um, reach out to me if you have any questions um, or comments, stories. We'd love to hear them in the group, Nutrition Empowered Aussie Mums. And, yeah, have fun with it today.